As you begin constructing your tower, you will notice you have four views to build. First thing you're going to do is to cut, pin, and glue the outside frame of each view. And so this way we have a framework in place for all four of your views. We'll begin by cutting the vertical pieces first. When you did your measuring, you remember that these lines on the outside were 8 inches in length. We have two per view, two here, four, six, eight, eight inch lines that need to be cut to the same length. In order to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to take a piece of your balsa wood and a fine tip pin. There's no measuring necessary at this point. We're just going to line it up with your line that you've drawn. Once it's lined up, mark it to length and then put an X over the top of this piece. This will be our guide piece for cutting the remaining vertical lines. Now as you make your cuts, take your scissors and take the top part of the blade, making sure that the top part of the blade goes straight down toward the table, and this allows the blade to make a straight cut all the way through. Now, when you have that piece cut, set it back in place. This was the guide piece because I know it has the letter X on it. That's how we want all the remaining pieces to be cut. So an easy way to do this is to take our guide piece with the letter X on top of it, line up the ends so that the ends line up on one part, go to the opposite end with your scissors, and here's where you want to have a good firm grip with the two pieces, and then place your scissors with the blade over the end right here, and make a cut straight through. Now we know we have an exact cut on this end, and it lined up with this end, so it should be the same length. So as I set it in place, I now have my next piece cut. So I want you to continue doing this until you get all eight of your vertical lines in place. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cross pin those vertical lines so they don't move as you're building. Cross pinning, you take your pins, and you're going to hold this down over your lines, and with your pins, form what we call a letter X over the top of the piece of wood in three places. One set of pins at the top. Let's do another set in the middle. And do one last set on the end. So notice the pins are crossing over the top of the piece of wood to hold it in place. When you have that piece pinned down, you can move on to continue pinning the remaining vertical lines. So as we see with the cross pinning, the pins are actually crossed over and holding the piece of wood in place so that as you're making your individual cuts on the inside, it does not move on you. So I will continue pinning this down and then we'll do the horizontal lines next. Okay, I want you to notice, I'm going to show you on just these two views here, how I have only cross-pinned one stick in place on each end. The reason why I did this is because when I, wa I wanted to go ahead and cut my horizontal pieces, making sure they're all the same length before I put my fourth stick in place. By doing this, it helps ensure that we're going to have a nice, close to perfect rectangle with each view. So what I want to do is I'm going to slide my stick to the end right here where it's pinned in place. Once again, mark right where the line ends going straight through here. And again, I want a guide piece for my horizontal lines. Now by doing this, I can take my scissors, make that first cut. And once again, blade of the scissors going straight down and put that in place to make sure it fits. I need one, two, three, four, eight total, again, because we have four views with two horizontal lines each. So once again, I'm going to do the same method where I line up the line, the stick, with the end, right on the end here. There's the end of my mark right there, and make another cut straight through. So then I know that my horizontal lines for every one of my views will be the same length. So again, line up the ends as close as you possibly can. Put the scissors right on the end of your stick and make a straight cut straight through 
for the remaining views. Now at this point we want to go ahead and glue these pieces in place and then pin them as well. So with your glue we're going to put a little bit of glue in the glue lid and I normally my rule is about the size of a dime because this is wood glue and it dries fast. Please close the lid on the glue bottle when you're not using it. Take your stick and we're going to do step one of the four step gluing process. Step one is to dip both ends of the glue or the wood in the glue and then just set it in place. When you've done this to both ends then we can go ahead and go back and take our vertical piece that we originally cut for stage one, slide it in place, and now when everything is straight we can go ahead and cross pin our pieces together. So I'm going to take our cross pins and pin it in place. Do the same amount of pinning on one side as you did the other. So again here I want one pin in the top one set of pins at the bottom and one set of pins in the center. Do this for the remaining three views and then we'll talk about the rest of the four step gluing process.